Hi everybody, this is Robert coming to you live again. This is the Excel Your Life show with Robert Harley and um, I am here to, um, I just want to welcome you to my live once again and I appreciate you tuning in, appreciate you taking the time to um, view my live video. Tonight we're going to talk about an exciting topic that um, is called the four C's to success. The four C's to success. Now you might be wondering, what what are the four C's to success? We're gonna get right into it after I just do my regular thing. I you know one, like the video, two, share the video, three, leave a comment on the video. Please let me know where you're watching the videos from, um, what city, what province, what state, what um, what country, all that kind of good stuff. <laughs> so if you could do that for me, please, I I would greatly appreciate it. Once again. Welcome and thank you for joining me on my live video. So let's just get right, in, right into it because of time's sake, because it's it's after midnight my time, coming up to mid 12.30 a.m. So I need to go back, go to bed. So, <laughs> hi. Um, <laughs> okay, sorry. I just, Reading the comments, someone is leaving me. So, um, so the first C that we're going to talk about is the word confidence. Confidence. All right. When we're going after our goals and dreams, when we know know what we want to do, accomplish in our lives, we need confidence. So the first C of the four C's is the word confidence. Confidence. Okay, this is the first. We have, if you're taking notes, you can do what like I do. See, I have I have four circles here. Each circle represent um, the four C's, and there's a reason why I have it like that. Because when you have confidence, you um, what does this say? You 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 set yourself a new goal. There's something new that you want to do, right? So we put the line here. It connect the confidence will connect to what we call a commitment <laughs> commitment now this could be something new for you this could be something new for you it's a new a new you develop a new confidence in, in in you want to pursue a new goal for yourself and you want to have, you want to have you first have to develop a confidence to step out and do to step out and try to accomplish this goal so it could be a new goal that you have that you want to do so the company will lead to commitment when you when you step out you want to start make taking action to um to uh to accomplish this goal is going to is going to take some commitment on your on your part you're going to have to commit to this right and now with commitment it leads to um, what we call courage Courage. The word, right word is this courage. I don't know if you can make it out. But commitment really to courage. Now between commitment and, and courage, there might be some fear. You might run into some fear. That's the word fear right there that I wrote. Might be too small for you to see. Someone's just joined me. Hi Kenny. Hi Kenny. Thanks for joining my live. So so you're on your way, you you have you have, you have develop you develop some commitment, some confidence. Sorry, some confidence in 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 your in your goal, in your dream that you want to accomplish. Let me do this this way, because I'm going to stand in here so I can see be more in there. So you have some confidence that you that some confidence going on for you for you. You're confident about your goals and your dream that you want to accomplish. You make a commitment. It's a, it's a new thing, but you make a commitment to 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 accomplish this. Now. In a, in a way, as you make this a commitment, you might run into what we call fear, some fears. Hi, Kenny. <laughs> uh, you might run into some fear, right? So, because it's, because again, because it's new. So you're gonna, it's fear. You know, one of the things that hold people back is fear. There's fear of failure, fear of success, fear of the unknown. You know, when you're stepping out to do something, 
you know, you 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 don't know what how it's gonna turn out. So that's unknown to you how things are gonna turn out. You know, fear of leaving the security security. You might be in a secure position right now, like a job, or you know, or some some kind of secure position that you you're in right now. But you you but you want to step out of that so you fear of stepping out of the, com of the, the comfort zone so fear fear is the, the number one thing that holds people back from achieving their goals fear of the ability to accomplish to do what they they, they, they might not think they have the ability or the, the, the know-how or to what it takes to accomplish their dream their goals in the dream so they fear they let that fear hold them back so as you as you make the commitment to go after your goals and dreams, you are going to run into some fear. Fear of failure, fear of the unknown, fear of, of whether or not you have what it takes to accomplish your goals and your dreams. But that as you as you purge, as you forge ahead, that that commitment that you make will lead you to courage. They will give you the courage that you need to accomplish your goals and your dreams. And now and then um then after after that then the next step here you now is you go here and you come to what we call capability capability so after you after you 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 gain some courage you're going after your goals and dreams it's a new thing you, you run into some fear you, you you have the courage to keep going on. Now you realize you have the ability to do it because then you realize that you're doing it. So the next thing, the next step, you know, is your ability. You realize that you are capable. So the next C, the, the third C in, this, in, the, in the four Cs is the word capable. You are capable. You have what it takes to do. To, um, to, to accomplish your goals and your dreams. You have what it takes. You are capable. You must have courage. Uh, you have confidence in that you are capable of doing this. You know, you know, you ever heard, you know, sometimes people say, use this, this phrase, I've got this. <laughs> I've got this. What do they mean by this? When they say, I've got this, that means, you know, I got this. I can do this. You know what I mean? It might be in a situation where you have to, you know, you have to do something and someone is relying on you or asking you whether or not you can do it. And you said, you, you, that could be your, your reaction to the person. I've got this. Don't worry about it, man. I got this. I got it. Just don't worry. You go do your thing and just leave this to me. I got this. And so that's what the capability is. That's how your confidence comes in. You know, you can you get to a place where you, you, you can say with confidence and with courage, I've got this. Just leave it. I, I can do this. You know, this goal, new goal, new dream that I'm pursuing. I've got this. I can do it. I have the capability of doing it. So the third C that we're talking about now is the word capable. You are capable of doing great things in your life. You have greatness within you. You know, that's, that's one of the things I like about mom. What's his name? Les Brown. I love Les Brown. He was one of my favorite speakers, Les Brown. And I, I love what he, he, the message that he bring across. You have greatness in you. <laughs> I love that. You know, and you know, he said, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. You know, you have greatness in you. I have greatness in me. We are not only that, but we have the capability to accomplish whatever it is that we want, whatever we put our mind to do, we have the capability to do it. Now the capability talk about potential. Oh, that's not, I love the word potential because poten potential is like an, almost like an unending subject. You can talk about percent, put, potential and go into a lot of different areas talking about potential. But put, you have the potential, I have the potential and the capability to accomplish our goals and our dreams. So when, you, when you're going after your goals and your dreams, you, you're going you're gonna to have to develop some, some confidence, some self-confidence into the goal. It could be a new goal that you're going after. You're gonna, you have to make the commitment to go after this. And then it will, then you're going to take you to the word, 
their their actually they're just a fourth word. <laughs> so I keep saying three. <laughs> it's a fourth word capability. Capability is a fourth word. Then you're gonna um it's hard to say that it was a three. I said a couple of times it was the third word, but then it was a fourth word. So you have the courage. You're going to de you develop the courage to keep going. And then you realize as you as you're doing it, as you keep going, you realize the fourth fourth word in this the four C's is that you have the capability. And and you know what? It's a circle. That's why I have them in the fourth thing, because as you realize the capability and they keep going, your capability will fuel, it will fuel your confidence. And then as you keep going, your confidence will, will strengthen your commitment. And as you keep going, your commitment will, will enhance your courage. And as you keep going, your courage will reinforce your capability. And as you keep going, your confidence <laughs> will build your confidence. And it's a really big cycle. And keep going. Each each one, each one um better bettering the other as you keep going, as you keep going this. And this could apply to any areas of your life, any area of your life, whatever goal or dream, goals or dream that you want to accomplish. You follow these three C's, you have it, you develop the confidence, you make the commitment. You develop, you realize you have the courage that you need. You're, you're going to run into some fear. Fear is natural, you know. It, I think the definition of the word fear is if the word fear is, you know, you keep going. Keep fear is not. I don't. I don't. I, I don't think I can <laughs> quote it word for word right now. I have to. It's too much off the top of my head, and <laughs> and it wasn't even planning on saying that, but um. If I if it could come to me, I will quote it, but it's not coming to me right now. But you're gonna run into some fear, and then as after the fear, you're gonna run into the cap. You're gonna realize the capability, and as it as you realize the capability, that will add to your confidence, and the confidence will will strengthen your commitment. The commitment will reinforce your courage. The courage will will um will enhance will reinforce your your ability. And so you, you follow this four C's, the four C's to success. You have confidence, commitment, courage, and capability. The four C's to success. You apply these in any areas of your life, in any goals and dreams that you want to accomplish. Your commitment, you, you, you develop your, your self-confidence and the confidence that you need. Then you commit to it, to, to it. And then you realize your courage. The courage you're gonna to need to keep going to pursue this, and then that, and that a lot of people let that stop them from accomplish the goals and dreams. Courage, you know, the the people all of us struggle in all with all of these things here at some at some level or another. We struggle with all of these things. Sometimes we don't think we have the ability to accomplish our goals and dreams. Sometimes we don't have the confidence to commit to, to pursue our goals and dreams. Sometimes we don't want to make the commitment. We don't want to pay the price. You know, everything in, in life cause require you to pay a price. You know, <laughs> even being lazy is causing a price. You know, everything cause a is a price there's a price to pay for everything right and sometimes we don't want to pay the price we don't want to commit to to doing certain things because we don't want that to pay the price where well, the price could be time your time that it requires it could be your effort it could be you you changing changing and growing as a person if we're in personal development personal growth you don't want to do that you know there's a lot of, that's what a lot of that's why a lot of people are just settling where they are they're just settling to be average and to be to be a mediocre because they they don't want to have to um go through pay the price to accomplish what it is what it is they want they don't want to make that commitment they just want to go to job you know one time i talked to and i think this this was typical of um Hi, Paulie. Thanks for joining me. I think this, this was typical of, of, um, of a lot of people. You know, one time, I, I'm not going to mention any names, not that you'll know the person anyways, even if I mentioned the person's name. But uh, one time, I was talking to a co-worker of mine, and I approached him about a business opportunity. And 
he just pretty he pretty much says you know i have a job but i just go into my job and do my duty do my do my you know do my duty go to job go to my job and then i like, I like to just come home and just knowing that i did my part i don't want anything else i don't want, <laughs> i don't want so you know basically it was kind of turned down the, the business opportunity that i met, was a, a, um presenting to him but he was just saying, I'm just happy of just going to work and coming home and just, you know, relaxing and, and, and I don't want anything more. And I was like, I was so stunned on that uh, by that, you know, how he just wanted to settle. He just wanted to live that, this mediocre life. You know, he didn't want anything more. And I, and I think he represented a large portion of our population out there. You know, <laughs> you know, he, he they just want, they're just, they're just happy just going to work doing their duty, doing their, their thing, going home and just, you know, relax or watch TV or, you know, maybe they, they involve in something else. But they, in terms of being ambitious, being having more than they, they have, being more and doing more and having more and reaching more, in terms of that, they're just, they're just not there. He's just not there. He just didn't have the kind of mentality to, for that kind of stuff. He just was just happy the way he, his life was going. All right. And, and that it was a shocking to me when I, when I, when I heard him say that, but you know, I realized that he was representing a very, very large portion of our society, of our, uh, our population right now. A lot of people think like that. That's why they settle for jobs that they don't like, you know, and kind of life that they don't really like, cause they just want to settle. They just want to, you know, they just, <laughs> Another time, I was talking to this someone, this someone um, again about a, a, a different opportunity. Actually, it was the same business opportunity. Talking to this person, and they said, "Oh, I don't want to be. I don't want to have much. All I want to do is just be happy. You know, I, I don't want to be. I don't want. Have, I don't want to be rich. I just want to be happy. <laughs> you know, and just, you know, when you talk to someone, you just want to slap them across the face from what they said to kind of wake them up." I remember that feeling come over me with this when this person said that to me. I don't want to be rich. I just want to be happy. And it's like, <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, <laughs> but like the slap in the person is to wake them up. You know, like wake up. You know, who says you have to be? Who says it has to be an either or? Who says you have to be either rich or happy? Who says you can't have both? Right? You know, and I try to talk to this person into into developing this kind of mentality to forget about either being happy or being rich. You have to choose one or the other. You can be both. You can be happy and rich. You can be successful and happy. You can be successful and fulfilled. You know, you can have, be successful or be rich, successful, happy, fulfilled, have everything you want, all the life in life, all the love you want, all the happiness you want, all the peace you want, all the joy you want, all the riches you want. All of that is all possible. It's not an either or. I've talked about this on the previous videos of months ago, uh, you yeah, know, weeks ago, months ago. Talk about this before. It's not an e either or. You don't have to choose. This is not the game, that daytime game on TV called um, "Let's Make a Deal." You know that daytime game. You know we have to choose between curtain one and curtain two and curtain three. You know, or from the big big box or from the small box. You know, or from a box or whatsoever, whatever the guy have is in, in his pocket. You have to choose either one. This is not that kind of game. This is not life. Is not like that. It's not either or. You can't have both. You can't be rich, successful, and happy, and fulfilled. You don't have to choose. <laughs> you know, so so and, and the way to achieving your goals and your dreams, you have to realize that you can't have it all. It's possible. It's possible. It's not a choice. You don't have to choose between success and being rich. Or being happy over here, <laughs> you, you don't have to choose. It's not a choice. It can have both. That's what. That's the kind of God we have. The kind of God, God we serve. The God will give you all. He can give you all your whole heart's desire. And if your heart's desire is to be rich and happy, it's possible for you to be rich and happy. You don't have to choose either between the two. So when I was talking to this person, I said, oh, I don't want to be rich. I just want to be happy. And I've, this is not the first time I've heard 
someone say that. This is the first time I heard this particular person say it, but that's not the first time I've heard it from people where they just say, "Oh, I just want to be, I just want to be happy. I don't want to be rich. I don't want to be famous. I just want to be happy." And it's like, it's just like, wake like up, stop that silly thinking and talking. You can't have both. You don't. You don't have to choose. It's it's a both are available to you, and for you. Anyways, <laughs> I kind of got after that. I wasn't even thinking or planning and talking about that. I thought I was going to talk about my three, my four C's to success, but I kind of kind of got into that. That really upset me whenever I heard people say that um, comfort zone. Can you say comfort zone? Yeah, you get out of your comfort zone. That's another people people the people settle for their comfort zone. That's right, Kenny. People just settle in their comfort zone. They love being they love being average, they love being mediocre, and they just love the comfort zone. They're comfortable. They have a nice secure job, you know, and they they they, they they're able to pay their bills, they're comfortable, their life is comfortable. But to to challenge them to to you know this to challenge them to show them that there's more to life than this. You can have more, be more, do more, reach more. You know, I was listening to listening to Jim Run just earlier this evening before I came on my live. I listened to our Jim Run on, on YouTube, and um, I really need I need to listen to this a little more. And, I, and I'm going to talk talk about this as one of my topic on my live video. But just to give you a little gist of what he's talking about, he said he said what's you know we all need to develop our, our own personal de philosophy right and he said he was asking the audience you know how much books should you read and the answer to to that he said as many as you can you know how much books should you read as many as you can how 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 much how how far should you go as far as you can how much how how high should you reach or how high should you climb as high as you can go you know um, how much should you grow and change and develop as a person as much as you can? You know, <laughs> so it's all these. This, this is how your, your personal philosophy should be. You read as many books as you can. You go as far as far as you can go. You go as you climb as high as you can climb. You change and grow and develop as a person as much as you can. You know. You don't settle where you are. As I said before in our, our previous videos also, there's always higher, there's always a higher level from where you are currently. Whatever level you're at, and everybody's at a level. Everybody's at some level, some higher level, some low level, but everybody's at a particular level in their life. But no matter what level you're at, there's always a higher level. If, you know, if you're already, if on a very high level, there's always a higher level. There's always a higher level you can go in your own personal growth and development, in your in your happiness, in your in your peace, in joy, in love, in relationship with others, in your, your finances, your money, you know, in whatever you name it. There's always a higher level you can go. So that's why we should never, never, never settle and be happy and content and comfortable in our own little, in, in our little, at the level that we're at. We always strive to go, to go more, be more, do more, reach more, and become more. Anyways, we're going to stop it right there. Whoa, 23 minutes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I thought it was like more like 10, 15 minutes. It's 23 minutes. My goodness. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, let me stop it right here, guys. Again, I like to keep these videos under 30 minutes or less. Sometimes even under 20 minutes. I try to even try to keep them under 20 minutes. But so it's already over 23 minutes. So um, I'm going to shut it up here. It didn't, didn't really feel like 23 minutes. Seriously, I thought it was more like 10, 15 minutes that I've been talking. Anyways, um, so thank you for joining me. <laughs> thank you for joining me, guys. Those of you who came on my live, thank you. I really appreciate you taking the time to view my live video. Um, yeah, thanks, Kenny. Thanks, Kenny. Um, so I hope you guys will join me again tomorrow. We're going to have another exciting topic to talk about. I hope you guys learned something from today's topic, the four C's to success. We have the confidence. You're going to have you need to have confidence. You need to have, make a commitment to, to your goals and your dreams. You're going to have to push through the fear 
and develops and push through the fear and develops some courage to keep going. You're going to run into some fear. You know, it's going to be natural to run into some fear. Fear is going to fear of success, fear of failure, fear of, of other people's opinion, fear of you might not think you have what it takes to, to accomplish your goals and dreams. It's natural to run into some fear, to have fear, you know, comes up in, in, inside of you, but you need to push through that. And in doing so, you're going to develop your courage. And then after you develop your courage and keep going, you can realize you have the, the capability to do this, you know, as, as I said, once you have the kid, when you reach the capability, you know, we you, um, we use that saying, I've got this. You know, I don't know if you have, have used it yourself or heard other people use that saying, I've got this, meaning that I can do this. I can do, I got this, I can do it. So that's when you realize your capability was when you get to the point where you said, I got this, I can do this, <laughs> you know. And so with that, then it needs to, that will strengthen your confidence and you strengthen your confidence to also strengthen your commitment and also strengthen your courage and also strengthen your capability. And next thing you know, it's one big circle. They're all, they all feed on each other, all these four. They feed off each other. The confidence, the commitment, the courage, and the capability, they feed off each other. So... Anyway, I hope you guys got something out of it tonight. Um, thank you once again for coming on and joining me. Join me again tomorrow. Please, again, as I ask you to, please like the video. Please share the videos. Share them on your timeline. Share them in your group or groups. If you belong to more than one group and, and share them, um, you know, tag people in them and stuff like that. I just want to get, I want to get more people seeing these videos and, and, I want to see the numbers of, of viewers going up. I want to see them reaching to the hundreds, hundred, a couple hundred people, you know, to the hundreds. So, and, and, and I need your help to accomplish that. So I need your help to me to see the number of viewers going up. And the only way you can help me doing that is by sharing the videos on your timeline and in your groups. So I just, that's all I'm asking. I'm not asking to send me money. <laughs> I'm not asking to buy anything. I'm not asking to, you know, I'm just asking you to please help me sh by sharing the videos. It doesn't cost you anything, right? Uh, in, not even time. Anyways, I would greatly appreciate if you help me in that, in that way. So God bless you. I love you. Peace.